Democratic frontrunner Joe Biden just got into it with a local voter. Words were exchanged and then a challenge. I've got two problems with you. One is you're damn near as old as I am. You're selling access to the president just like he was. So you you're a damn to... liar, man. That's not true. And no one has ever said that. And you want to check my shape on, let's do push-ups together here, man. Let's do, let's run. Let's do whatever you want to do. Let's take an IQ test, okay? Uh, I didn't one... say you were doing anything wrong. I you said, said I set up my son to work in an oil company. You know what you said? I... Get your word straight, Jack. Look, fat, look, here's the deal. Here's the deal. It, lo it looks, it looks like you don't have any more backbone than Trump does when you're, you're selling it. Whoa. Damn. That got testy. There's also a weird moment, though, you have to admit. This guy said he was concerned that Biden might be too old to run for president. And then instead of addressing the man's concerns, Biden challenged him <laughs> to push-ups? <laughs> you realize, Joe Biden, this could have ended terribly. <laughs> because what if that old man beat Biden? <laughs> hmm? Now, he's the Democratic frontrunner, right? <laughs> Yeah, that's how it works. We've all watched Black Panther. If you beat the guy in charge, you become the guy in charge. That's how it works. That's how it works. Would have been push-ups, the old guy would have ripped off his shirt like, is this your nominee? Is this your nominee? And then every one of those old white people in the town hall would have been there like, oh. <laughs> Britain's Guardian says a 34-year-old Sana Marine of Finland will become the world's youngest sitting prime minister. Yesterday, Finland's ruling Social Democratic Party voted to name Marine the next prime minister. She's the country's transport minister and the party's vice chairwoman. She's been a lawmaker since 2015. Yes, Finland now has the youngest leader in the world, a 34-year-old woman named Sana Marine. And you know what's even more impressive? Look at the other leaders of Finland's coalition government. Huh? Look at that. Five women. <laughs> killing the game. In fact, like, I'm starting to think Finland is secretly that island from Wonder Woman. That's all this is? <laughs> also, you do realize that's an entire government that Mike Pence can't be in a room with, right? <laughs> Even more impressive to me is that four of them are under the age of 35, which is wild. Because in America, you can't even be president until you turn 35. Yeah, and if you're in the government, you can just keep running until you're a 1,000. I don't understand <laughs> why there's no old age limits. Yeah, because think about it. You have congressmen who can't stay awake. You have a senator <laughs> who took off glasses he wasn't even wearing. <laughs> have you heard the good news about Jesus? Yeah? Now, have you heard the bad news about Jesus? This might actually be the holy grail of new video games. It's called I Am Jesus Christ, and it lets gamers play Jesus to heal a blind man, make fish appear in a bucket, and end a thunderstorm. Now, the New Testament-inspired game has not been released yet, but it is expected to launch soon. Okay, this... This is extremely offensive. Especially for me, someone who has already accepted Super Mario as my video game savior. I mean, <laughs> and I say unto you, it's-a me! <laughs> Look, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't want to play a video game about Jesus. However, I do want to play as Jesus in other video games. Think about it. Yeah. When Jesus was alive, he rolled with sinners and prostitutes, so he'd kick ass in Grand Theft Auto. He'd be amazing. This was just announced moments ago, the time person of the year, is 16-year-old climate change activist Greta Thunberg. Now, you remember when the Swedish team took on UN world leaders at the Climate Change mm -hmm. Summit. I mean, 16 years old. Congratulations to her. She had a passionate plea garnering a lot of attention. And for way too long, the politicians and the people in power have gotten away with not doing anything at all to fight the climate crisis and the ecological crisis but we will make sure that they will not get away with it any longer. Yeah. Greta Thunberg has been named Time Magazine's Person of the Year. And she must have been so excited when they told her. It was like, great news, Greta. Greta, we're gonna cut down a million trees and print your face on them. <laughs> like, uh, and then we're gonna put them on airplanes and send them all over the world. <laughs> For real, though. It's so cool to be named Person of the Year while you're still in high school. Right? All the other kids are like, oh, I was voted most likely to succeed. And Greta's slapping her magazine like, I already succeeded, bitch. 